I'm John Schwartz, a house hacker and realtor in Los Angeles, California. You're watching House Hack Los Angeles, and this is my weekly Los Angeles real estate market update for February 23rd, 2021. And guys, it looks like it's going to be another expensive year for houses in Los Angeles. But first, if you're watching and thinking, isn't that the guy from Investment Property Nerd? The answer is yes. And this is my new channel, House Hack Los Angeles. So please subscribe here and continue getting my content. I'm changing up the social media persona while it's still just a baby. Same great content, new channel. All right, back to the market update. And one other thing you may have noticed that this isn't the usual backdrop. My office is getting a little bit of a renovation. You'll have to tolerate my living room for now. Each Sunday, I review the week's MLS activity for Los Angeles County to bring you the latest in what's happening in our market. These numbers come straight from the MLS and you won't find these graphs anywhere else because I make them. If this is your first time watching the weekly update, here's a quick explainer. Each graph covers the previous 12 weeks. The bars represent actual weekly numbers and the line represents a four week trailing average. This smooths out the noise and helps us identify trends. If you'd like to talk further about your house hacking plans in Los Angeles, shoot me an email at john at househack.la. All right, let's get into this week's data. Looking at single family listing activity, new listings and listings exiting the market both inched upward for a gain in net new listings. We had 1,108 new listings, 222 sales, and 166 expired, withdrawn, or canceled listings this week. This pulls our four-week trailing average of net new listings up a hair to 623. However, it looks like the single-family market is not backing off from high pricing anytime soon. Average price per square foot actually fell from last week's high by about $20, but the drop wasn't enough to offset the upward trend in the four-week trailing average, which is now at $712 per square foot. At the same time, median days on market is trending downward, and list price to sales price ratio is holding steady. So what does this mean? Well, honestly, I was hoping we'd see a more significant price relaxing in the single-family market this year. When prices plateaued in January, my fingers were crossed that price pressure was stalling out. But not so, Los Angeles. With price per square foot trending up and days on market trending down, I'm predicting another hot seller's market for single family homes this spring. In condo listing activity, new listings contracted again, but so again did listings exiting the market. New listings came in at 419, while sales were at 100 and expired withdrawn or canceled listings were at 70. This brings our four week trailing average net change in listings up a hair to 256. But one thing to note before we move on, yes, net new listings is up slightly, but notice how the condo market has contracted over the last three weeks. A big question I have is, when is the condo market going to normalize? It's been the relatively inexpensive sector this past year because of the trend away from urban condos and towards suburban homes. When will that trend reverse? Is the answer soon because vaccinations are beginning to shine a light at the end of the COVID tunnel? Or are we still a year or more away from the equilibrium being regained? Keeping close track of condo listing activity will help us answer this question. In sales activity, we're seeing the same mixed bag we got last week. Average price per square foot dropped and is trending downward in the four week trailing average. That's good for buyers, but median days on market is also dropping and list price to sales price ratio is climbing. These are both good for sellers. So once again, condos still provide more opportunities in single family homes, but we'll have to watch the metrics closely to understand where we're headed. In residential multifamily listing activity, and remember we're talking about two to four unit buildings here, new listings grew while listings exiting the market contracted, resulting in the four week trailing average of net new listings climbing a hair to 66. Looking at sales activity, we have another mixed bag, but in the opposite direction. Average price per unit is climbing, not great for buyers, but median days on market is climbing and list price to sales price ratio is dropping, both of which are great for buyers. So once again, we have a sector that's better for buyers than single family, but still needs close watching. And thank you for watching this Los Angeles market update. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss next week's. Get in touch with me with your questions about house hacking in Los Angeles, and I'll see you next time on House Hack Los Angeles.